Now here I think I have the, the topic, compassion is the pillar of the world peace. Uh, so the genuine peace must come through inner peace. Without inner peace, a genuine lasting world peace is impossible. Sometimes it's peace temporarily out of fear. Sometimes it happens, but that's not real peace. During second, I mean, during Cold War, the nuclear weapons, both sides ready to shoot, and because of fear, I mean, what what you call deterrent, deterrence, you see, brings some peace, but that peace out of fear, not genuine peace. But genuine peace must develop out of compassion, out of love. So. Love and compassion brings inner peace. So through inner peace, genuine lasting world peace is can be achieved. So so in any way, uh, compassion one level, the uh, biological. The second level, uh, out of awareness, out of reasoning. That means with the help of human intelligence, they further uh, develop human compassion. Now here are big differences. The first level of compassion is very limited and also biased and oriented to others' attitude. So that kind of compassion can go only your friend. Those people who are kind to you. And that kind of limited bias to compassion is you cannot extend towards your enemy or neutral people. Particularly, enemy, instead of compassion, but wishing something bad for them or anger. So, uh, so now, through using our intelligence, reasoning, and awareness, the benefit of compassion or necessity of that compassion for because of every aspect, then deliberately try to. Because of that, further develop, extent. extent. Now that uh, not oriented others' attitude, but rather person, in case of human being, towards the person, uh, animal as well, is a disregard their because of that, appearance or their attitude, but keep, but keep genuine sense of concern for their well-being. Uh, so that's unbiased. Uh, and also uh, not mixed with attachment. Attachment towards your friend. Attachment cannot go towards your enemy. Uh, so the second level of compassion is unbiased and also objective. The previous one, uh, this person very kind to me, so I love, I love them. But second kind level of love is even enemy, very, very harming to you, very negative to you. However, this also. Human being, a human case, human being, or sentient being, they also deserve love. Uh, and also with knowing when enemy created uh, some irritation, anger, uh, even increasing that irritation. When other, other one, you see, irritated to you, if you try to deliberately keep compassion to them, then, you see, your own mental level will not cause of that, much agitation, even agitated at the initially. But remember, these also human beings, how ignorance, how so do also the uh, pity. Uh, then, you see, your, your mental side much more calm, 
you gain much benefit. Because of others' attitude, if you lose anger, hatred, that anger, hatred itself will not harm on them. But immediately, hatred, anger, immediately destroy your inner peace. And days and weeks go continuously, very bad for our health. So knowing these things, deliberately try to keep compassion towards your troublemaker. That we human being can do. The other species of mammals, we cannot do that. So that's one human sort of greatness. So our unique sort of good thing. So that, uh, I think all major religious tradition, you see, talks about love and compassion. I think that level, that level. So more precise sort of, because of analyze, then there are variety of love, compassion. Uh, so basically, I think all, now for example, the according TST religion, one time, one of my Muslim friend, you see, the, uh, he mentioned to me a Muslim, a genuine Muslim practitioner, you see, must extend love towards entire creature of God, Allah. So there's a reason. So create, same creator, uh, we entire human, human being and entire the world, according to that belief, created by God, one source. So God must be some reason to create these things. And our enemy also created by God, there must be some reason. Uh, so therefore, obviously, it, God also is taught us the uh, practice of love and, uh, and practice of love and the compassion, forgiveness. So in order to practice of compassion, because I practice of uh, forgiveness and tolerance, we need some uh, people who create some problems. <laughs> so God deliberately created that. So you see, thinking that way, uh, uh, you can extend genuine love, respect towards your enemy. This also is deliberately created by God. Uh, and then non-theistic, of course, the law of causality. If you do something good, a uh, good result will come to you, to oneself. If you harm other people, uh, the bad result you have to face. So, by nature, we want good thing. Do not want bad thing or suffering. So if you commit harming other, you committed the causes or conditions of suffering. So since we do not want suffering, so we must avoid the causes or conditions of the suffering. So knowing that, then deliberately, you see, they try to reduce anger, hatred towards troublemaker. So, once we develop genuine compassion, genuine karuna towards our enemy, then you really develop real inner strength, inner peace. So, so there are two levels of compassion. Uh, so now, uh, this, as I mentioned earlier, universal. Religious people or non-believer, see, we have same cap same sort of potential uh, and same capacity. Only sort of positive, because the you know, only thing is, we have to know these things. And we must pay more attention about our inner value. Then your health improve, the atmosphere in your family improve, and the community also improve. As I mentioned earlier, world peace through inner peace first start individual level, not because of that without making effort or start from one individual. 
one piece from sky, impossible. From United Nations, impossible. So peace must, because of the start, peace must sort of dem- because of the built by people. Well, people means combination of individual. So start individual. So I start as much as, 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 as I can according to this Indian tradition, nonviolence based on compassion and religious harmony. Uh, so uh, I can make some contribution. So similarly here, perhaps I have a few thousand people here, each individual try to develop inner peace. Uh, just, you see, using our awareness or sort of our intelligence and then examine our neighbors, uh, those neighbors who, who often you see quarrel, anger, or jealousy, they never get peace. Those family, very close, uh, close and compassionate, uh, their family much happier. And particularly those children in the family where parents always quarrel, always accuse each other, blame each other, and that face, the children suffer most. The other family, really full of compassionate sort of atmosphere, their children, their physical grow much better, their study much better. So these are, we do not need to study for uh, complicated philosophy. Just look, examine, objectively. And then most important, the scientists, now particularly medical scientists, now they begin to realize uh, for physical health, uh, reduce blood pressure, and reduce stress, anxiety, fear. Uh, much these are much different on our outlook or our emotion. So here they now begin to realize more calm mind is very very important. In order to calm, in order to develop or create calm mind, not thinking, uh, no fully alert our mind and at the same time calm mind. That's now the point. Usually, you see, in order to develop calm mind, we just forget the problem and take some holiday or picnic, a short moment, one week, you see, forget and alcohol or just you see, seeing some pictures or some place like that. Some cousins some spots. When you return your home or oh, feel very, then something uh, uh, feeling down. Uh, feeling down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, there's a Tibetan expression saying that as if the sun is set. <laughs> yeah. Go outside a few hours, oh, very joyful. Uh, then uh, look time, now return to home or office then feel a little dark. <laughs> so that's unwise. That's very temporary method. The wise method is look the problem itself. <clears throat> Develop positive attitude. The more problem you feel good, more challenge, better opportunity to practice, to show my inner strength. Isn't it? There's no need holiday. No need to picnic, isn't it? And then here also is I want to share with you. I think usually, and particularly those materialistic sort of society, I think you just seeking mental joyfulness out of through sensorial way, way. Seeing some play or including television and through I sensory, seeing sensory, bring some satisfaction. 
and music to ear sensory bring some uh, satisfaction and taste and smell. Uh, including, I think, sex. You see, the true sensorial level brings some inner satisfaction. So these sins, you see, that kind of sort of uh, inner sort of joyfulness entirely depend on external means. Very temporary. Other hand, thinking reality and thinking about compassion, more familiarization of meditation. Meditation means familiarization. Of course, meditation, there are a variety of uh, different kinds. One we call samadhi, single pointed mind <laughs> meditation. Another, analytical meditation. For me, that's much sort of much effective. Of course, firstly, single point in mind, not easy to achieve. Uh, and for me, my excuse is I have no time to, to practice that. So that's my excuse. But I really wish, you see, to spend at least you see, one year, two years, because of secluded area, completely isolated, then single practice of single point in, single point in mind. That also, no, there's no guarantee whether I can achieve or not. <laughs> so, so, you see, for me, analytical meditation is very useful. As soon as I wake up in early morning, usually I got up at uh, 3.30, uh, so wake up, as soon as I wake up, as a Buddhist monk, I uh, recite one shaloka, Nagarjuna's word, praising to Buddha, I recite that, and then making shape of my mind, rest of the day, my mind should be uh, meaningful, uh, meaningful thinking, and a meaningful life. And as a practitioner of altruism, from early morning, dedicate my body, speech, mind, well-being to others. Um, for example, reflecting upon um, the sentiments expressed in the great Indian classics like Shantideva's text, where he says that um, just as the great uh, elements of the, um, nature, such as earth, water, and so on, <coughs> may, I be, <coughs> may I be of service to all beings and to be utilized by all beings in whatever way they, they wish. So, the former president of India, uh, Abdul Kalam, a Muslim, great scientist, uh, he very fond of this, this verses. So, some occasion in talk, you see, he refers to this. And, and one time, you see, uh, uh, also the, uh, our sort of, uh, uh, my sort of audience is with him. Uh, he also, you see, carry, I mean, he showed me one Shandadawa's book and showing you see, these verses. Uh, he told me this verse is very, very helpful to him. <laughs> like that. So, that's analytical meditation from early morning. Uh, that's very useful. So, in any way, so in any way, I'm uh, about So through training of mind, mainly analytical meditation, knowing the reality, knowing the fact, uh, and uh, from the fact, from the reality, what's best way to bring inner peace? Uh, to bring because of the maximum benefit to oneself, you know, not relying on external because of the fact, but try to because of the uh, right view, even negative negative situation because of the come through. Utilize that. There's Tibetan saying, "Dang a young to 
<clears throat> there's an expression in Tibetan tradition which says um, turning adversities into precious opportunities. Now one example. Now last 50 years, we become refugee, now homeless. Uh, but if we look only that angle, then more sort of frustration, more worry, sadness. But if you look from another angle, that sort of difficult sort of uh, situation uh, also brings some new opportunity. Now, for example, after coming to India, uh, new opportunity meeting with a variety of people, people from different tradition and also different professions, and particularly scientists, and a variety of people. And me personally, when I was in Tibet, I have to follow the more protocol, protocol or formality. But I don't like that from childhood. I really don't like that. <laughs> so after I got India, refugee, then I really got some kind of freedom. <laughs> you know, I don't care these formality, these things. So sometimes I think my some Japanese friend, so at the beginning they look rather in a very formal formal way. Then I immediately start some kasuta, some jokes were jokes. some jokes were jokes with that chokko. Uh, uh, then they also they are sort of kind of I see sort of face, then melted. <laughs> so is this much much better, isn't it? We are human beings after all. This is nothing. This is kasuta. I think too much formality also, in a way, part of hypocrisy. Isn't it? Uh, it is hypocrisy a kind of lie. So, be honest, truthful. You must you show your nature and receive, uh, receive their nature, some kind of sort of formality is the actually additional barrier. Remove that, then you can see human to human. Much better, isn't it? Like that, like that way. So, so in any way, I need to in the ah. So the true inner peace, not relying on sensorial media, medium. Stimulus. 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 Then, that inner joyfulness is much stronger. Uh, that really brings inner strength. So through that way, then you can be much sort of kasota, kasota, stronger face challenge. If you too much rely on sensorial, then some positive things come happy, negative things come unhappy. Not relying on external thing, but relying on our, your own good quality, inner value, then that joyfulness really will lasting joyful. And that really getting inner strength, self-confidence. Through that way, you can conduct honestly, uh, transparently. So these are I think, I think sometimes animals better than you, human being. We're too much sort of clever here. So that creates our own self-create cocoon. 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 Uh, then, then eventually you feel loneliness. All the billions of people there, but you feel just alone. Why? Your attitude is wrong. Your mental thinking is wrong. Like that.